So I'm using an iPad Pro with Apple Pencil and Adobe Photoshop Sketch, and I can explore all these very cool uh, sort of um, illustrations and what has been created in Photoshop Sketch, but I'm actually just jump in and it just start with a new page, if you will, selecting the pencil, and when I hold it, you know, kind of more horizontally to the table, I get those, uh, all those blending options and characteristics and stuff that I'd expect from a pencil. If I hold it perpendicular, again, it gets really sharp. Just, again, undo, I just swipe back with three fingers. I can use photo references as well, which is nice. I could have this off to the side, or I could just kind of draw on top of it on a different layer, okay? So just adjusting that opacity and just kind of using that as a guide and, and again, just kind of working exactly as I'd expect how to work sort of even naturally holding that pencil and uh, kind of drawing over this. And again, you have all the flexibility of digital and I can erase for the highlights and it, you can just work real naturally with it. I'm just going to create a new layer. I'm actually going to select this watercolor brush. And I love this because it, it works exactly as watercolors do. I'm actually going to pick a different color and I'm just kind of put this on top. Keep in mind, I just laid down that blue. And you can see that red bleed into the blue. Exactly how watercolors work. And you can always uh, dry the watercolor as well. And get into acrylic brushes. I'm going to just have uh, an orange selected here. So that's the color. And it will remember the colors, by the way. So I can always remember the color that I mixed. Okay, and what I like is I can, I can actually paint inside, which is nice. So whether this is an illustration that I've drawn with a pencil, whatever, I can uh, paint inside. You can have all these crazy brushes, by the way. It gets crazy. And even these visual brushes. So this is a fun one of wheat. And here's another brush. Again, this was actually made in... Adobe Capture. So, again, this is a picture of me. Obviously, really funny brush, but the flexibility is kind of unheard of. And then, if I want more flexibility, I can actually send that to Photoshop CC and I get all of those layers. And then I get all the, of course, the power of Photoshop being able to, you know, blend later layers together if I want to. Uh, you know, and again, I just have that sort of like full control, even though I can still work back on the iPad if I want to. Now, if I want to draw naturally, like right within Photoshop, I can use something like a Wacom tablet, for instance. This is a Wacom Intuos, and it will detect the angle of uh, your stylus as well. So if I select a brush or a pencil, it doesn't really matter. It's just going to detect the angle and work really naturally as well. You know, here's just a fun fan brush. I can always change it later if I want to brushes, all that good stuff. I can even dive into some of the pencil work too, but here's just again, just a finer tipped brush. I'll dive into, let's see. I'll actually just change it to a pencil. And the pencils actually wear down, which is kind of crazy, uh, by the way. So it works exactly as you expect it would, but I like that again, this is just digital. It's gonna remember the colors that I have and I can play with color modes, all that fun stuff, because again, this is Photoshop. So I really have sort of unlimited flexibility when it comes to drawing in Photoshop. And yet I have the a natural feeling of using Apple Pencil on an iPad Pro with Sketch. And then I also have the Wacom as well. All in all, it's really fun working digitally because really there are no limits to what you can do.